can explore the uh, town in earnest. Frost! She's super curious as to why that's even there then. The uh the frost pillar. It just puts you back where the other place is. Seems kinda of pointless to even have it there. So, since that's not a thing, I think we just go back out now, right? No, actually, we need to, uh, shop. My character stuck in the walk animation is hilarious. So the armor, so the antidote. Uh, sell the mace, sell the antidote. I mean, that was an elixir and the antidote. All right, now we go and we look for artifacts. Siphon Sill, Frostbite, 45 to 65, and 28 to 39. Alright, so this will jump her power by 11, but her power by 20. We give it to her. A pirate Sword for Dreamtide. doing that <laughs> it's so hard to not do it though given how tight I am I'm not too surprised that this claymore is stronger than that storm's uh, edge Circlet chainmail adept closing. So it would give me a four point boost, but it's not really all that good. Gauntlets would be a bust for her.
plus for him. Thursday? It is. How you been? How goes your Pokemoning? Don't have any rarities. That's unfortunate. Okay, well, then you're useless to me. Not much. Playing some Golden Sun, but uh, we're probably gonna end up ending the stream in about 20 minutes or so. Um, on the, just the fact that I'm just really tired. I'm gonna try to stream a little bit later tonight, but I'm really exhausted. We've been fighting the baby for uh, the, the last few nights. Actually, we've been fighting the baby since Friday of last week to go to sleep. Um, so I, we've been missing out on a lot of sleep at night. Um, Bright side is her upper two, her top two teeth are almost in, but we only now, but we now just figured out that, uh, or found out that she actually has uh, two more bottom row teeth coming in as well, um, and I think all of that is just culminating into her just being extra fussy. <laughs> yes, it was ridiculous for your Pokemon. Eating. So you've just been cleaning up your boxes, etc. Not wrong with that. Not wrong with that. But yeah, I've been Pokemoning on my off time. I've been trying to finish my Pokedex up uh, for the most part, and then I plan on getting to getting started with my uh, my comp team and whatnot. Um, been trying to figure things out in terms of getting back. Um, getting into classes for IT and whatnot, um, and then just finishing up any last minute things I need to do for my, uh, my job, uh, so that I can be, I'd be ready to leave when that time comes. Teasing makes him damn near unbearable, yeah. Unfortunate, but what can you do, right? It'd be a lot easier making a comp team now that we know who's allowed. Yeah. Well, I kind of already assumed that legendaries and whatnot wouldn't be allowed. So, uh, with the exception of like the ban list, I kind of already had an idea as to, you know, what we were look, what we have, we, we, what we had to look forward to, in terms of, you know, comp play. But yeah, I'm currently working on trying to get uh, the blue seals unlocked. Um, and then I think there's one more seal after that, right? There's four seals, right? I got the the first uh, to the the tablet, the the chalice. I think it was the tablet, the uh, the the weird cup thing, and I think there's one like a fish. Oh, I don't have growth, do I? Whoopsie, um, I need to do this here, right? They allowed them last season, um, for Sword and Shield, yes. Generally, the first season of a new generation will not allow legendaries and whatnot.
I forgot to change the uh, the gin back. That's fine. We'll just do the battle like this. We're not missing out on nothing. Uh, let's get him with the mad growth, right? Yeah, let's do that. Power drive. A power drive. Now, planet driver. Critical strike. Got it. I'm sad that I can't use Palafin, though. I think they banned Palafin, so I can't use my Totogeki. I need to find one more Mars Jenny somewhere. At least we in at least we can use Palafin and Houndstone. OPSF. No, from what I'm understanding that uh Palafin's gonna get into um getting banned I don't know if it's happened yet um but yeah it, it seems that that's going to be what's going to end up happening this palafin is going to get eviscerated off he's legal in rank cop gotcha okay so he's not banned He's only banned offline, essentially. So, for instance, if we were to go to, like, a regionals, he would be banned. <laughs> but, you know, in a general online environment, uh, I guess they haven't banned him there. Which makes sense. problem now comes, do you want to spend the time trying to train up a palafin that's going to get banned? It's like, we know he's going to get banned, so it's like, do I do I want to do it? <laughs> Silage! Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
I just needed Piers to get to it. Oh my god, you put half my team to sleep. How dare you put half my team to sleep? Okay, they're awake now. Usually sleep misses. I was kind of awkward when it hits. Especially with, to that extent. You got 10 shinies now and only hunting for that on Iron Hands. Isn't Iron Hands supposed to be like futuristic uh, Hariyama? I need to eat sandwiches so that I can try to increase the chances that I'll run into uh, uh, the Salamance looking one. something back there. I feel like there's something back there and I haven't gotten it yet. Oh, I did. Yeah, we're done here. There's no reason for me to come here. Back across the mountain we go. Yeah, she's the one folks demand you use on raids. You talking about the, the Salamence one? Was it called, uh, I think it was like Something winged or something like that? I can't remember the name. Exactly. The dark dragon type. I mean, I guess it makes sense being a dragon type, but. No, Iron Hands is the one that's recommended to use on. I'm assuming you mean the Charizard raid? Can't believe it. You just wanted to scratch your starter so you bred five eggs and got a, a shiny. You mean you want... What do you mean you wanted to scratch your, your starter? You wanted to change it? This track is ridiculous after their belly jump. Attack is ridiculous after a belly jump. Gotcha. Bomb, 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 ba da bomb, bomb. Okay, so there should be a a fire gen around here somewhere. I just gotta remember where it's at. You wanted to release it because his IVs are bad? Oh, gotcha. So the ditto you have, are the IVs on your ditto good? Shroom. There's the fire Jenny. I need to go back up to where I was at then. I didn't miss that. Boo 
Got two diddles, the Japanese one is shiny. I'd say it's pretty lucky. Do I have to go the other way? Because I don't want to. Yeah, they're going to make me go this way again, aren't they? Ditto is uh, five IV, and the Japanese one is uh, six. Yeah, I think I have a Pokemon that's already like five or six IVs right now. That six IV one sounds like it might be a hack. Use the Discord forms a little bit. I'm assuming you were using them to try to track, uh, like stats and whatnot. I could have got this from before. I gotta fight it. Well, that's lame. That move always looks like it's stronger than it is. I did it. Finally, has her other uh, Mars Denny. Unfortunately, she doesn't learn her healing spells yet, which makes me sad still. She gains ward. Alright, so I think Jenna needs one more fire gen or Mars Jenny. And then she'll have her ability to cast healing. Yeah, I haven't done any public raids yet. I've only done solo raids by myself. Um, now that I've finished the, uh... Nor have I done, like, one of trades or anything like that. So now that I've finished the, uh... The main story stuff, I'm working on my Pokedex. I'll probably start doing some one of trades now. Just to see what I get. Honestly, I'm afraid of getting hacked Pokemon though, because I don't want uh, the Nintendo Ninjas to come after me. Because Nintendo Ninjas are scary. Ah, uh, which way do I go? I think I'll go down. I think I went the right way. I'm actually not certain. There's a troll in the forest by the city. There's a troll in the forest by the city. There's a troll. There's a troll. There's a troll in the forest by the city. I think I'm going the right way. Oh, I think I'm going the right way. Oh, I think. Oh, I think. Oh, I think I'm going the right way. Hey! I 
thought I would come to check. Got all, go through all this work to get this shit back uh, from Briggs and we can't even work it. Oh, we can go ahead and catacombs now. Let's go. They finally got out of my way. There's got to be some leeway there. I'm not use, using traded Pokemon for anything other than breeding. Yeah, I'm sure they don't really care. <laughs> as long as you're not using them in, like, official competitive, like, tournaments or whatnot, I don't think they care. The whole Nintendo Ninja thing was just a joke. I mean, it's true. Nintendo Ninjas, Nintendo Ninjas actually do exist. But the whole, them gonna come after me because I'm using, you know, I happen to have, like, a, a glitch Pokemon or something like that. I, that, that, I don't see that actually happening. <laughs> Is Rihanna far enough? Yeah, she's already beaten the game. She just beat the game last night. Her, much like myself, we procrastinated hard running around and collecting everything and looking at everything and whatnot. But yeah, she just beat the game. Um, and she just caught the other Maridon, so we're going to trade uh, Maridons and whatnot. She thoroughly enjoyed the game. I'm happy. Um, she had stopped like she stopped loving Pokemon like she fell out of love with Pokemon um, And I was a little sad because you know, it's her childhood as well as mine's and You know, it's a little it's always a bummer when You fall out of love with something that you've loved forever just because they it got boring But she thoroughly enjoyed this game. Uh, she enjoyed the the open world concept. Uh, she had fun. She actually enjoyed battling for some uh, somewhat. Still not really a fan of it, but she enjoyed it. She enjoyed the Pokemon. She doesn't like the uh, the futuristic paradox Pokemon though. She think they all look weird. Uh, she she she's more into the non-futuristic Pokemon that I got uh, in Scarlet. Well, yeah, that's what they were going to patch. If anybody expected them to do a performance update in this patch you guys were you guys were just setting yourself up for a disappointment uh, a performance patch update would take time there is absolutely no way they would have been able to get a performance patch update out this soon after the game's launch um, I expected it to only be a patch to fix uh, glitches like uh, the game crashing on people um, and, uh, the glitch, the, the dupe glitch for items and, uh, shinies. I, I fully expected that that would be the only, uh, things that were updated or fixed in this patch. Wow. There's no way for us to know. Well, so that's, that's where you're wrong. There is absolutely no way that there will there we know the one thing that we can glean for certain is that they were not working on a patch before this game came out because they were still working on the game. Um hence why it released in the sad state that it released in. Uh more than likely they were only working on the patch beginning on the day of the or maybe even the day after the game's release when people started posting, you know, the 
all the glitches and stuff that people were going through, um, or, you know, gaining and whatnot. Um, even from all the, the YouTubers, they're saying if there was going to be a, a patch for, like, uh, performance and all that stuff, we probably won't see that until, like, January, if, if we're lucky. Uh, most people are saying February, though. Uh, but if we get lucky, we could see it mid-January. You figure with the bad reviews, the problem is, is that performance patches take time. It's not as simple as just going in and flipping a switch and, you know, the performance is better. They actually have to go back into the coding and all that kind of stuff and adjust all that. That takes a lot of time. That's not something that's done overnight, unfortunately. Also, what's up from um, Kage? How's it going? I'm just, I'm just happy that they're, you know, acknowledging the fact that there is, there's issues with the game and that they are going to try to fix it. Um, I didn't have any doubts that they would, um, um, that they would fix it. Um, I, I assumed that they were definitely going to fix it. Um, I just, a matter of how long it would take. Specifically because we're assuming there's going to be DLC for this, right? We're, we're, we're assuming there's going to be DLC for this game. Um, that's, at least that's the assumption I'm under. It, it feels like they're going to make DLC for this game. And it's going to be impossible for them to do DLC and then still have a game that looks like crap, you know? You actually expecting the patch to be like two weeks from now? Same. I was highly surprised that they even put the patch out um, now. Uh, it makes sense because they wanted to start the ranked season on time. Um, and a duplication glitch uh, could really impact their bottom line. Um, so when I heard about the duplication glitch, I was like, oh yeah, that's probably going to be the very first thing that they fix or, you know, patch out of the game. Because they, they don't want people duplicating items in Pokemon in their game, especially Shinies. So, yeah, when I saw that, I was like, oh, yeah, that's getting patched out. That's that's going to get, uh, that's going to be patched out uh, quick, fast, and in a hurry. Now, when they start doing the performance patches, I hope to God they add the little sound bit for Shinies. Or at least, like, the sparkling animation on the overworld map. So that... People aren't trying to murder their eyes looking for shiny Tauros. <laughs> I'm sorry. Tauros is slightly lighter than... Shiny Tauros is slightly lighter than regular Tauros. And slightly... Uh, uh, its face is slightly darker. And I'm like, oh my god. Who is trying to look through this? I also noticed... Someone ran into a, a Tauros that had like a blue mane. It's like blue spots in its mane or something like that. Um, that happened to be a ditto. Is that how you can tell if a ditto is a ditto? Or if a Pokemon is being impersonated by a ditto? Like it has some kind of bodily defect? Cause I still haven't found a ditto. I've been looking all over the, the world. I have not been able to find a ditto. And yet my wife was able to find one. Pretty simple. Toast doesn't even compare to China. Oh yeah, well the little Pokemon you just can't see. Then there's the ones like Charcadet where the, the only difference in the shiny is the color of the eyes. You gotta squint to see that. <laughs> now there are different Tauros in each version of the game. Wait, so do you guys not have 
the Black Paldean Tauros? and I forget the other one. They can only be found... Oh, okay, so... There's one Tauros out of each group that might be different than the other ones. So they won't be like... They'll be like a fire uh, fighting or something like that. Trevor! Shake, shake, shake! Shake what your mama gave ya! Shake what your mama gave Bookcase! Shake what your mama gave ya! Shake, shake what your mom. The different Tauros are all black, but have different fur patterns, like the blue you saw. Okay, and that indicates that they might have a different typing because they're like a leader. That's good to know. I've been running away from Tauros because they're irritating and they chase me down and I hate it. But now I'm going to pay attention to the Tauros that I see and try to see if I can gleam any uh, different ones. Or I might just catch them all and then use them as... Uh, Wonder Trade Fodder. Because that too is something that can be done. How do I get that treasure chest? I feel like there's a way, but I don't remember how... Aha! There we go. There we go. It's a lucky medal. Those are fun. Of course, it's going to be quite some time before we can do the lucky medal stuff, but, you know, having them is fun. So, yeah, I... I, I happened to take a peek at my YouTube at the beginning of the stream um, because I was trying to I was looking over it while I was talk, explaining as to why I have been a little slow this week with uh, uh, uploading uh, the next part or part 4 of the video for uh, this for the uh, RPG Spotlight and I noticed that my shiny vi my shiny clip for the uh, shiny uh, Tarantula got over it's over 300 views man it's like 313 or 14 views that's the highest view count video i have on my channel period now i think before that the highest was like 46 or something like that and i, I believe that was like the uh the sephiroth uh reveal for smash brothers um but the let's not the let's play the the golden sun video part three um has 32 views like 32 or 33 views right now um the first two have five each but that third one was hitting it i don't know why it's so much better than doing so much better than the other ones but i was like i was ecstatic when i saw that it really makes you feel like man this was worth doing after all right When people, when it seems like people are actually enjoying your content. Random, random B. Alright, uh, let me save real quick because I feel like this is going to be a battle. I'm pretty sure I have to fight somebody for this. Oh no, I don't. I think this is Moloch. Yep. Two Mercury and one Jupiter. I don't know why I thought I'd have to fight somebody in here. Retreat! Retreat! Got it. Okay, so there's like another path down there somewhere and I can't remember where it's at. Oh, dear God. I forgot about that lady. 
Can I just ignore her? Is this the house that has the fire, Jenny? Yeah, okay. How are we to climb the cliffs between here and Gondolin? If someone would just drop some ropes down from the top, it wouldn't be a problem. I think he wanted one of these mushrooms. Is that one of his most favorite mushrooms? No, dear, they look similar, but these aren't quite right. Thanks for bringing this by, but it's just not the type of mushroom you like. Please, won't you please try to find the mushrooms my husband loves so much? They don't tell me what mushroom he likes, just that there's a mushroom he likes. Yeah, fire water tars are the only ones with different fur patterns. Okay. Oh my, is is that Is that the one um is that one of his most favorite mushrooms? Did you climb all the way up the oh, those cliffs just to get that mushroom for us? That's the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. I have to thank you for this. But what could I have that a warrior like you would want? That's a tricky one. I'll make sure to relay that information to Brianna too, just in case she wants to collect uh, those Tauros as well. She said she's not interested. The ones that get high, uh, <laughs> the ones that get them high, those mushrooms. <laughs> But yeah, she was like, uh, she wasn't going to force herself to complete the Pokedex, but she was interested in catching the rest of the Pokemon, so. Felix found the Mars Jenny char. I can't wait for dinner tonight. Better fried, uh, batter fried mushrooms. Mm. So I think I just have an extra mushroom that I have to sell. I wonder if I can make my... Yeah, I can become a ruffian. I can become a savage. I learn spire. I learn revive and impair. If I just became a savage. Nah, I'm turning back though. Because now, she becomes a Hex and she learns Aura and Healing Aura. Yay! She can heal now. Yay! Jenna becomes the best character in this game by far. Well, I think Mia is still pretty good in terms of the support role, but... I think once I get the rest of the team together, my team literally just becomes Mia, Jenna... And like me and Jenna, that's really it. That's really all I care about. <laughs> where could where could Minority have gone? Where are you, my sister? Yeah, no, your sister's dead. I smurfed her. She was being rude. She kept attacking me. I didn't do nothing to her, and then she came out of nowhere and she threw up hands. So I was like, all right, well, if you want to throw up hands. I can throw up hands, and I smurfed her. Now, I may not have killed her, but I definitely smurfed her. She killed herself by falling into a hole. That was her fault. I didn't make her do that. She did that herself. Felix, you're back. And you brought Piers with you. Oh, Piers. Piers, I must apologize for the trouble we've caused you. I'm sorry we lost your jewel. Don't be. Everything worked out for the best. Piers, you said you were going to go back to Gondawan. Did you make it? Yes, in fact, we have just returned. You're pissed at, uh, at Charkin at Shiny? You want to talk to the person in charge of Shiny's? Yeah, that's weird that they didn't invert the uh, armor. So... Especially for Armourous and Cerule Edge. So... What I thought they were going to do for Armourous and Cerule Edge was invert the armor colors. Not invert them, but swap them. So, Armourous's regular color would be swapped with Char uh, Cerule Edge's regular color. So, Armourous's shiny would be the purple armor that Cerule Edge has on. 
And Cerule Edge of Shining would be the gold armor that uh, Armor Rouge has. I was so, so sad to find out that the only difference in the shiny forms for those Pokemon is the color of their eyes. I was like, what the hell is wrong with these people? That's, a, that's what a bored person would do. I was able to recover it with the help of Felix and his friends. That's wonderful. I'm so relieved. I was worried that you might never get it back. That's why we came back, to let you know that we've recovered it. Worry no more. If you've already recovered your jewel, why don't you stay here for, um, for a bit longer? Unfortunately, we can't. Hey, have you seen the girl up front? We must go to the island. This is my home. Um, the, the island that is my home. Piers, are you, are you sure? After what we've been through, I feel like I've learned a few things. Like what? Like, the fact that you truly are good people. And that you have gone to great lengths for no other reason than to help those in need. I have come to realize that I too must do something to help where I can. You think this game has more slight different shinies than any other? You'd have to count? Probably. I have made my decision. And the sooner we depart, the better. Right, Craddon? We shall set sail, Felix, to my ship, to the Eastern Sea. You truly mean to leave us so soon, Piers. I may yet again have reason to visit your town, but yes, I must go. You seem quite busy. It is their youth that allows them to be so busy. But we'll be back, I promise. Maybe we'll be able to visit at a more leisurely um, pace. I like that. So would I. All right, you guys ready for some uh, some deep dialogue? Things are about to get real tense. Felix, wait. I believe I promised you a reward for helping me with the boat, didn't I? Yep. Imagine, you came all this way to put us at ease and I totally forgot to give this to you. Regardless, I told you that I would reward you when the boat was fixed. That may take quite a while now, it seems. That being the case, I'd like to give you that reward now. We can't accept it now, though, could we, Jenna? Madra is still in shambles from the disaster. We couldn't possibly accept any gifts. Nonsense. Misfortune or no, I promise as I promise. Cyclone Chip. Oh, wait. I can go back to uh, Kibombo now. I'm glad to, I was able to give it, um, give it to you before you left. Your travels seem to take you from danger into um, greater danger. Please be careful. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Felix. You. He just called you Felix, didn't he? Why didn't I see it before? You are Felix. The minority should be somewhere around here, too. And yet... You won't see minority or Santos ever again. Isaac killed them. Yo, that's not, that's not true. They killed themselves by falling into a lighthouse hole. We didn't do anything. We just stopped them from killing us. They're probably at the bottom of the sea by now. Shiva, quiet. Huh, I heard that, you wretched little thing. Can it be true? Is my sister dead? I can't believe it. No one has the power to defeat Santos and my sister. Yet, you all avoid my gaze and that look on your faces. It is true. Who is this Isaac? What, you feign ignorance? Why, would you protect him from my fury? Never mind, I believe I've heard some rumors of a traveler named Isaac lately. Is this Isaac the same um, one they've um, been speaking of? Is he pursuing you? If, that's, if that is the case, then this Isaac should show up here sooner or later. How do you know it wasn't Felix who defeated your sister? What do you take me for? I'm a warrior like my sister. I can gauge a man's strength at a single glance. Even if you double Felix's power, uh, Felix's power you would still be no match for my sister. And besides, I doubt Felix could find it in himself to betray my sister. He knows that his lives, he knows that the lives of, he, of those he holds dear would hang in the balance. But I must congratulate you on your su uh, success at both the Mercury and Venus Lighthouse. Although your success there now prevents us from returning to the Western Sea. You would have failed, of course, had we not re researched how to climb those lighthouses. 
Oh, Dittman already tell you? Regardless, Isaac won't be getting in the way. You will have to find your own way to the Western Sea. And if you make the journey, you'll have to um, light Jupiter on your own as well. We have our own way to, um, we have our own work to do. And number one on that list is taking care of Isaac. Are we clear on this, Felix? And I'll say yes, because if I don't, she's going to be irritating about it. Aren't you an obedient boy? If you're worried, you can't get it done. We can help you a bit. No, thank you. I believe we'll do, um, we'll, um, I believe we'll just find Jupiter Lighthouse on our own. And if that, um, if that's all the same, I see. Just don't let us down. We're going to find that Isaac. I'm going to find this Isaac, and I swear that the last thing he sees will be Karst avenging the death of her dear sister. Wow, and I thought Santos and Minority had issues. <laughs> yeah, they were a bit, uh, unhinged. We shouldn't take Karst too lightly. Wait a moment. Karst did say we, didn't she? Yes, Satro, um, Satro and Minority traveled as a pair. Perhaps she has a partner as well. We ought to warn Isaac that Karst um, is after him. Maybe we should try to find him first. Believe me, I'd love to see Isaac again, but we just don't have time to look for him. Plus, even if we find them, I think there's a good chance we'll end up, we'd end up fighting them. Why? What we are trying to achieve, they are trying to prevent, and they will fight us to stop it. But Jenna, aren't you and Isaac an item? Can you, you know, do something? An item? No, I mean, it's not like that. Not really. Stupid Shiva. <laughs> ah, well, uh, yes, for now. We should just press onward to Jupiter Lighthouse like we planned. But what about Garrett and the others? Don't you mean Isaac? Shiva, be quiet. Sheesh. <laughs> Shiva's a butthole and I love it. <clears throat> Are you ready to listen yet? They were strong enough to defeat Santos and Minority. They won't be beaten easily. We should continue on ahead, just as Santos and Minority would have. Okay. Sheba Pierce, are you ready? Then should we be going right? We should be going right, Felix. 